Hey, this is Nick. I'm uh, here to show you um, how to use uh, D7 um, with dCloud and the dCloud launcher to use D7 in a remote support situation um, without having to uh, transfer the entire D7 archive over to the remote computer. Um, the first thing you want to do if you haven't already is upload your configuration to dCloud. So what you're going to do is go to config, uh, I'm sorry, updates and sync, and then dcloud. Um, basically, once you have your um, configuration set up the way <clears throat> the way you want to, you want to save that config to dcloud. So you'll have it in the list down here. Um, the next thing you'll do is uh, this link over here for portability, download and create dcloud launcher SFX. Um, what this is going to do is download and configure your dcloud launcher for use with um, your account. So we'll just do that. And uh, do you want the archive to delete itself after extraction? I'm going to say no. And would you like for the launcher to auto download a default profile? <clears throat> now what that's going to do is as soon as you fire up um, the SFX we're going to create, it will automatically run dCloud Launcher to download this this default config. Um, if you and and it will delete itself when it's finished. Um, if you uh, select no, it will prompt you instead for a profile to choose to download and wait for your input. So I'm just going to choose yes because I only have one profile that I use with remote and that that is the one that uh, I'll be using today so this pop-up comes up you'll select a, an existing config I'll select foolish IT save as default and now you have um, dcloud launcher SFX located on your desktop now how we use that I'm just going to copy that somewhere is in your remote support session um, you may uh, your software may have a toolbox feature where you can directly launch this file onto the remote computer or execute it um, I should say and uh, you can do that or you can use your uh, remote software's transfer feature to transfer the file over and it doesn't matter where the file ends up being on the remote system as long as it is executed once it's there so we'll go ahead and fire it up <clears throat> now we're getting a UAC prompt to run dcloud launcher and you'll see it's downloading D7 right now. It's extracting your custom configuration. And it has started D7 for us after download. And you'll see that was fairly quick. And now here's the latest final release of D7. It looks different because when I started off I was using the pre-release version. Um, but uh, here is your D7 with your foolish IT config. Um, already on the remote desktop and ready to go. Um, once you're, if, uh, and, and of course using it in a remote support situation, if you happen to make any configuration changes that you want to, to keep saved, you can just go to updates and sync, dcloud, and then save current config to dcloud, and that updated configuration will be launched on the next time you use the dcloud uh, SFX launcher. So I hope that's been informative, and if you have any more questions about it, let me know, and I will be more detailed next time. Thank you very much.